What is the angle that you're mounting your panels? And if you're having to make a choice, what is that trade-off? If you had a choice and maybe it's cheaper to mount flat, but there's a little additional cost and you can get some angle on your panels, is it worth it? What's that power differential in terms of the output between the two? Now, in addition to this test, I wanna jump in and show you for your specific location, what is that ideal panel angle? Now, this is not the same all year round, so you should also consider seasonality because that will change for your location. So we have two different sample points. We have the flat panels, which are two 100 watt Thunderbolt panels from Harbor Freight. Now, believe it or not, these actually go over 100 watts in the standard test conditions. So if you have perfect conditions, you're gonna get over 100 each. So we have these wired in series because I wanna actually up the voltage. If there are clouds that roll through, one panel might dip under the minimum voltage for the EcoFlow Delta Pro, where is where we're gonna land and store the energy. So we don't wanna dip under that or it'll affect the test results. And then our other sample over here, which is angled at 29 degrees. 29 degrees matches my roof angle because I want to do that test between the flat and roof because I am considering a flat pergola to put some panels on. So I want to know what is the difference in terms of how much power loss I'll have if I mount those flat. So we'll take each of the two 100 watt panels wired in series and we'll actually go through these little RC power analyzers. So we'll wire the panel into the source and then we'll connect up the EcoFlow conversion cable to the load side. This will give us voltage, amperage, and a bunch of other metrics, but most importantly, I use these to accumulate how much energy we've actually generated from each of the two samples and then that's where we get our percent difference. Both of the EcoFlows are around 44 and 43. So each of these units will have plenty of capacity to store the energy that we generate. Now, if you're looking at a professionally installed system, grid tied system, that's most likely on your roof. So if you need to know your roof degree angle, you probably have a good reference just in your pocket. You can use the measurement app on your Apple or Android device, and there's a bubble level feature inside that app, which you can lay on the surface, and then it'll give you that exact slope in degrees. And then if you need a cross reference, just go to Google and look for a roof pitch two degrees conversion, and you'll see a table that'll give you a reference. So my 29 degree roof angle corresponds to close to a 712 roof pitch. Now here are the conditions during the two hour test. I took a time lapse of the sky. You can see we had great sunlight between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. A few clouds here and there, but overall really strong sun during the test conditions. And then here are our results from just over a two hour test. Looking at these little power analyzers, this is the pitched roof or pitched panels. Lower left hand corner, we'll get watt hours 388. And then comparing that to the flat roof, the lower left hand corner we'll scroll through to watt hours 313. So 388 compared to 313. So that's substantial. Comparing those two results, we're looking at a 19.4% decrease in the power that the two panels put out flat compared to the 29 degree angle. Just for reference, it's September in my area and 29 degrees is pretty much the exact degree that you'd want to be set at to get the most out of the sun. So it's pretty much the ideal scenario. But that is a substantial difference and definitely something you should be taking into consideration for your own home. If you're looking at a trade-off between flat and then getting a little bit more mounting hardware, it just might be worth the investment, especially stretching that out over years and years.